The meeting was necessitated after details of another petition over the electoral register became public. The Alan campaign team petitioned the elections committee following what they said were anomalies discovered with the register. Key among the concerns were the replacement of deceased names in contravention of a directive not to tamper with the register. The chief of staff, Frima Oseo Pare, per the constitution, is not entitled to vote in a demand for clarity on the eligibility status of appointed chairpersons of the committee of national council. It had to do with how the party is managing the proxy vote. But I think it was a very good meeting. I think that we needed clarity on We needed to also uh, uh, understand some of the processes needed. Again, we had detected some key anomalies in the album. And we needed to point it out to the party as well. Again, last but not the least, uh, also the party that was clear on the, on the voting day and its modalities. Is the guidelines or the modalities for the elections and on the day of voting. Two is the validation of the register, which is the normal thing that we do in an electioneering process. And the third one is a, a proxy vote. With that out of the way, the aspirant wants the president to walk his talk over his comment of not having a preferred candidate. Action speaks louder than words. The optics have created a different impression. What's the impression? What the president could have done was either ask the chief of staff to rein them in, because that is what is creating that impression. It's not, you know, coming out of nowhere. You've, see, sometimes it's what you communicate to the people, the optics that generate a certain perception. So for me, he's in charge. He can take the actions, you know, and I mean, he can issue a directive, don't do this, don't do that, and they wouldn't do it. For our president to indicate that he is not supporting any particular candidate. The, the thing is that we are monitoring the process. Meanwhile, the party says it is satisfied with the conduct of the aspirant. We are only expecting that they will stick to their issue-based campaign and also be mindful of their affidavit of the oath they've sworn to the party and, and also be reminded and minded of the rules of engagement. So at the end of this whole primaries, the party will come together as a formidable force to prosecute election 2024.